What's up guys, this is the Brave and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to run off where we left off, it is currently uh, temperate weather in, well not temperate weather, it's freezing in Europe, most of Europe, however the southern flank is free. So we must make gains and in this we are attacking the final Prussian territory, which has both of their main, well, it's got von Blücher who's their main leader, I don't know about August Schwab. But the main thing is, we're going after Blucher, and this time we're going to try and get him. So let's attack. I really, um, him, <laughs> rather than me missing, and him retreating, and managing to... Well, he won't live to fight another day, I suppose, when, when they lose, they're either captured or they're made prisoner or whatever. But I would like him to be finally defeated. Um, however, I don't know if that'll be the case. Okay, that's way too loud in my headphones. So, there's nowhere that's... No, that's, not a, that's not a bad artillery spot. Shame it's a bit close to their lines. We've got some sixes and some nines. Let's group... I don't know, they're all... I don't know, there's one errant six-pounder, so... I want to group the nines together so I don't have any problems when it comes to range. I've got a feeling I might just plonk them down here. It's not great, but it's not great, but it's open. Then let's make the Highlanders form the right flank. Let's get the Fusiliers. So the Fusiliers and the Grenadiers actually to hold the left. Then we'll have some units of foot for reserves. Uxbridge, take the right. Beresford in the centre. Yeah, this is this isn't it's not a great map for an artillery fight. Ooh, I forgot. Both of my other guns... Oh, I forgot so much. First... First battle of the session problems. That's how I phrase this. The problem is the foot artillery may as well just hang back. The howitzers... Come over here more. To safety. Grenadiers. The Grenadiers are going to be fairly aggressive with. I want to take this ridge. To be honest, it would be lovely if I could get my guns up here, but that's going to be a bit of a tall order. So let's take my Fusiliers and instead position, position them on to the left of the guns, and let's take the Grenadiers. Take a holding position in the centre. Well, that's not where you're supposed to be. That's where you're supposed to be. Scots and Highlanders form a new line. More like there. I mean, I might bring my six pounder over here. How to get somewhere a bit more central. Cavalry move up to the next set of hills. Basically, they're not moving, which is good. Well, if they are, well, <laughs> as soon as I say they're not moving, they start moving. Um, but what they're doing is they're just reorientating their position. All I want to do is set my guys up ready for the advance. And that same, my guys up also, okay, cavalry push on this flank. So let's. To be honest, I might deploy my. <laughs> uh, this is why I'm bad with the reserves. I've got reserves, immediately deploy them. Okay, speed up time. It's all going to kick off once my guns get into position, because they will do so much damage, they will be forced to move up. So these guys are okay, They're moving into position. 
So I want my house is a bit more central than where they currently are. There's no need to rush. There's no need to run my infantry up. Because they do not want to move. Let's put my cavalry back in these trees. If these guys are here, they're not going to need much shepherding. My guns are moving up. With plenty of infantry. If, if they fancy trying to send in some cavalry to try and charge the guns, then we've got plenty of firepower ready to knock them back. So come on, just let them scoot along just a little bit more. Terrain's a bit bad here, actually. So I'll unlimber them, but f halt fire. Instead, I want I want this infantry to actually take this higher ground, and they are moving. So let's set up our position to pivot somewhat. Good god, that inf oh, okay, it means they're being fired upon. So my houses have engaged. Now you gotta do something. Because now that makes them a bad position for this artillery, unless I shuffle them over here. The opening barrage, probably against this same unit of lancers. I'm completely fine if they do shoot them, though. Yeah. Ooh, they're all... Let's come how it's engaging this... Bit of, a bit of offensive, defensive warfare here. Mainly I'm curious to know where their reinforcements are coming from. This isn't Blucher, this is just a... It's marked as General up here in the corner, but I don't want to... I don't want to waste my... Ooh, these could be good hearts of shots. Yes, look at that! One shell. Kablamo. Okay, these three pivot. Back out again. Lance cavalry come back out. My Scots are going to engage the Lancers. They're going to get picked apart by everyone. And they've routed. So let's begin. Okay, they've returned, so it's probably a bad time to charge my infantry up. Good, that cavalry's broken. These guys are still inactive. They could charge my line infantry, and they're more than welcome to. And I think they are going to oblige. Yeah, there we go. Cavalry committed. This marines are not being charged by the dragoons on the flank, which is nice. They've been shattered. Yes, 
push up the flank to take advantage of this crush of men that isn't currently committed. Let's push these flank companies up as well. They did get into square formation quickly enough. Smash into that unit of Black Brunswickers. It's the Hing the Musketeers. Let's get some artillery support. So they've broken off from charging on the left. Cavalry have broken over here. So these chaps are ready to engage. Okay, you form position over here. They tried charging again. They have tried charging again. The first foot guards will not have it. They're also going to be in range of the third foot guards. Yep. Charge recovery into the land there before they get picked off. Okay, so they're coming in at the back. Well, up here to the northeast. Charge them into melee to support the cavalry, get these guys up into a firing position. Yep, here comes the crush. Switched canister. At them, even though they're out of range. So Blucher is here, there he is. How is it to engage the light artillery? Oh, come on, my Highlanders. The Black Watch, no less. Engaging the Swiss line at point blank range. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. He's under attack, but not like under attack, under attack. Advance up two units of line to see if we can provide some tempting targets for their cavalry. Give our gunners some different targets and let's go for some of these hussars in the distance. Let's get my marines out of square and to form line. push these guys up to fill the gap you guys fill a really thick wadge on the line I think that's this flank sorted start dropping some houses in on the first regiment of foot black brunswick as they're going down the Marines are having none of it. I want to fold this flank up and I want to move these guys 
my infantry up more like here. Felt Jaeger, Jaeger. Felt Jaeger. Felt so American. Like Mr. Chuck himself. Okay, push up. That's a very weak, you know, musketeers. So it's not much of a threat. How else has it broke them singularly? Get back to dropping on the cavalry. If I can break this unit of Lightfoot. They're losing lots of men. Because they could return, as is tradition in Napoleon Total War, they do not like staying retreated. Keep an eye out for Blucher wherever he went. No, oh, Blucher. Blucher's the generals are mingling. The commander of this local army. And there he is. There's Blucher. Well, he's just out of artillery range. Okay, good. Round shot, pummel that unit of hussars. Mm, it's a lot of infantry say over here doing nothing really. Too much, one would say. Get the Highlanders into the town hall. How is this to target this Swiss infantry unit? Push up our infantry. Luca's coming in the range of my will soon be coming within range of my Highlanders. Luca's gone mad, he's charging through the sound, town centre. Where's the man himself? There he is, he's leading the charge. He doesn't get shot off his horse from my Highlanders. Well, they've not killed anyone. Damn tasty, tasty hit points. If he doesn't move soon, he's going to find himself in a world of hurt. Let's gauge the fusiliers with our foot artillery. Just push up our infantry on top of the gap. These traps are going to get mowed down fairly conclusively. Lucas Score here with Blucher because he's gone. Is his is his destiny to die charging a square? Wow, wounded. There he is. Charged a Highland foot unit in square. They're all coming from over here. So we could potentially have got like a, a like a, a a trap off up here. 
Let's bring Uxbridge back. Swiss liner routing. Let's get our howitzers to target Fotiago back here. Bluka staff is routing. Notionally carrying his body because he's wounded, but we all know where he is. Oh, he's gone! God damn it! <laughs> These Germans and their tricks. Let's push up. That's a good job we didn't leave these guys behind. They fired some good shots into the side of the house, into the Hussars. However, they're charging. Let's retarget our artillery. Let's push up into the town. Let's limber up the howitzers now. We'll start to move them up. Secure the flank of the town hall building. God damn, Hussars. Iron filings to the magnet. Do you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. Should go there for now. If they charge down, the town hall will the town hall will protect us. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Let's push up. How it's there? There we go. Gone a bit risky with the charging the infantry in. Let's drop them into square because it looks like they've drawn the attention of the cavalry. But we'll use that as cover to move up proper infantry. So that the other general's not come in yet, I guess. Because we killed one general, the other one's here. August. Oh no, there he is. I thought that was August. I thought he <laughs> thought he'd had enough. There is real funky. Go on, Uxbridge. Have a go at the lances. Go on, Highlanders. There you go. 
As the British volleys crash in from all directions. Yeah, as they as they retreat from the Highlanders, they get shot to pieces. Got the general staff. Come in August. You should never have come here. It's been quite a nice little envelopment. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Now it's just a case of every man fires for as long as possible as he... Well, as long, I was about to say as long as possible for as long as possible. That's what I was going to say, but that's dumb. But still, that was a heroic victory for British forces. And that is the end of... We've hacked through the Austrian Empire to get to them. And finally, we have... Proud and victorious. You're gone. You're gone. And you're gone. Territory is ours. Fortify it, because why not? What else am I spending the money on? Push up to the bridge. Upgrade the supply warehouse. Oh, I can't actually get my... Get my agent to infiltrate, because he may as well. The army at Bucharest. Bucharest. Can it move? Yes. Do I sail it up to hit Belgorod? Oh no! Istanbul. I forgot Istanbul. March onwards. Then let's hit Greece. Oh no, sorry, it's up. Oh. I was really confused for a second. I thought, hang on. I'm sure the Greeks, we fought that, because I've just named the episode, actually. Um, so. Yes. Okay, first, let's get an urgent to hop on this trade zone. Could probably do with an actual... I'm using merchant men because I want to use them to ch to shuffle troops. But we can get Nelson up to the Darden Dardanelles Strait. Yep, you're going to be attacked with this general, Mikhail Barclay de Tolly. Mr. Abercrombie is on his way to come and say hello. Although, with a cavalry scout, preferably, the infantry itself can just be disbanded. Gotcha! <laughs> it says it says the home region having fallen into enemy hands. Well, they shouldn't have never been in Moldova. Moldova, sorry, not Moldova, that's dumb. Henry Clinton knock out this little marauding army. And then you stay here. You're not being hit by attrition from the snow but they are I do remember they are all on the way but I need this I need this damn weather to clear up if this weather clears up I mean yeah I'm golden but we're gonna hit Istanbul take Odessa Take Odessa, Kiev, Belgorod, and then we'll be in an excellent position to march on Moscow. Although Wellesley has had to fall back to somewhere. Where did he have to fall back to? Is it all the way? There's Wellesley. There's the man himself. I'm definitely going to want him in the lead, but we need to get rid of. Well, we need to start to increase. Well, get out of, get out of winter. That's what we want. As our spies continue eastward. Oh yes, I forget we're at sea we're sieging the Russians as well behind the lines. Yeah, 
Kiev doesn't want to... They don't want to push their troops over the river because I will absolutely intercept them. And I will definitely love to fight a tasty old uh, river battle. That would be just the ticket. But as you see, Russians don't... They don't experience the same level at all. The, the same problems with winter attrition. Oh, there's no other way to Kamenets. I might have to send one of my spies to go sabotage the army to stop them from moving, maybe. Yeah, all these guys, they're all going to be so screwed when the winters, when the snows lift. Ooh, and they're selling out. Awesome. Um, looking at the timer, that'll take us well over our limit. So, I'd like to take that... Uh, that opportunity to end the part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the battle of luzerne which i think will probably cause this region to to be destroyed or not destroyed captured that's the word we use these days right thanks guys hope you've enjoyed